Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can create these spheres in Blender. We are going to create them by using modifiers, so you can apply this to pretty much any other object. So now let's get started. First let's delete everything and go to the render properties and select Eevee. Check ambient occlusion, bloom and screen space reflections. Now let's press Shift A, add a UV sphere, go to edit mode and press F3 and type in smooth vertices. Now set the smoothing to 1. We are doing this because the, the sphere isn't completely round otherwise. Now let's go back to object mode and press Ctrl 1. Go to the modifiers and set render to 1 as well. Now let's add a decimate modifier and set it to planar and set it to around 14%. Now let's add a wireframe modifier and you can leave it at that. So that's it for the first shape. Now let's duplicate it and move it to the side and select this one. Now let's select unsubdivide and set the iterations to 1. And as you can see now we've got these nice curved lines. Now let's duplicate it again and move it to the side. And select this one and set it to collapse. Set the ratio to 0.5 or whatever you like of course, but I like 0.5 and that's basically it for the shapes now I'm going to show you how I set up the rendered scene that you saw at the beginning first let's add a, an empty go to the side view and duplicate it move the duplicated one to the front like this so that it barely touches the the sphere. Now let's select the spheres and go into front view, press 8 on the, I mean delete on the numpad and now 8 on the numpad to rotate the view up a little bit and now 4 to rotate it on the side. Now let's press shift A and add a camera and Control alt 0 to go into camera view. Now let's select the first empty that we added and shift select the camera and control P parent to object. Now if we rotate the camera, I mean the empty, the camera will rotate along with it, but on the axis of the empty. Now let's keyframe the rotation go to the last frame and set the rotation to whatever you like. I'm going to set it to 30 and keyframe the Z rotation. Now let's press Shift A, add a plane, S10 and go into front view, move it down. Now go to edit mode, select these two vertices and E Z 10. Go back to object mode and control A, apply the scale. And now let's bevel it. If you don't apply the scale, the bevel won't be, it won't look like the way I bevel it. So bevel it a couple of times, go back into object mode and shade smooth. Now let's scale it on the X a little more because as you can see we have this area here in the camera view. So S, X and make sure that at the beginning we don't have the same problem. We don't so that's okay. Now let's go to the world properties and under color select environment texture. I'm going to put a link to the environment texture that I used in the description. So this is what it looks like now. 
Now let's go to shading, zero again, and set it to rendered view, and select one of these spheres, press new, and set it metallic, and set the roughness to somewhere around 0.1. Now shift select the other spheres, and select this one again, and control L, link materials. Now every every sphere uses the same material so if you change it on this one it's going to change on the other ones as well if you don't like the shadow in the back you can simply click on object and go to a world now select this image mo uh, image node sorry press ctrl t and rotate it on the set until the shadow is gone but I'm going to leave it like this. Now let's go back to layout mode, select the camera, and under the object data properties, let's check depth of field, and select the empty that we duplicated. I'm going to set the f-stop 2.3, and as you can see, now we have this depth of field on the spheres. I'm going to set the plates to 16. Now let's go to the output properties. I'm going to leave the resolution as it is. And set the frame rate to 30. And set it to JPEG and the quality to 100%. Now I select an output folder. I already created one. You can create a folder here by clicking on the folder with the plus sign. And now let's name it. I'm going to call it Abstract Spheres. And if you put an underscore after the name, Blender is automatic automatically going to assign a number to the image like abstract spheres 001, 002 and so on. So you have them in order. Now let's click accept. And if you're wondering why I don't use FFmpeg video instead, that's because if I render the video and cancel the render, I'm going to lose the file that it already rendered because we are canceling it. So I'm render, rendering it into separate images and then in the video editor we can create a video from these rendered images. So now let's press Ctrl S and save. I'm going to call it abstract metal. And now let's go to render and render animation. Or you can also press, press control to F12. So now let's render it and I'm going to show you how to make a video from the rendered frames once it's done. Now that it is done rendering, let's go up here to the plus sign and under video editing, select video editing. Hover over this path and press Ctrl C and now Shift A. And by the way, make sure that you are on frame 1. Now Shift A, image sequence and paste the, the path here, but remove the name. Now simply press A and enter. And as you can see now we have the animation in the timeline. Now let's go to the file format and FFmpeg video. And the encoding, set the container to MPEG4 and the output quality to high quality. Now let's... You can leave the name as it is. It's simply going to create an extra file for the animation or you can give it a different name. So now let's hit render again and now it's going to render the animation. 
This is going to be very fast as you will notice. And it is done. So that's it of the tutorial. I hope you liked it. If you did, press like. If you didn't, press dislike. And I'll see you next time.